And yeah. you know, one of the things, obviously, extending Zeke was important, but the guy who's still yeah. who's still needed uh, is is Dak Prescott. Uh, so yeah. I, I'm curious because like there were stories coming out that you know he wanted mm-hmm. more money. I think the last number I saw was like 34 million dollars. You know something yeah. uh, like per year. And like you know, since 2016, he's all he's always thrown over 3,000 yards. He's always thrown over 20 touchdowns. Like he's been he's been yeah. solid. And you know, I will oh, give yeah. a, a lot of credit to your offensive line because I was having this conversation with my dad of like Ezekiel Elliott is a is a great running back, and he's made yeah. great or somewhat amazing because of that offensive line. And I still think he would be mm-hmm. a very good running back elsewhere who doesn't have that kind of offensive line. But like. I think the Dallas Cowboys are the perfect example of like why you need to put draft capital like in the trenches and not draft John oh, Menzel yeah. in 2014 and instead be like, all right, we'll get an offensive lineman instead. And all the Cowboys fans are like, oh, fine. This is so boring. Oh. But look what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was not one of those Cowboy fans. I want to put that on the record. Uh, <laughs> I was. I, it was funny because me and Josh were watching that draft. I was at Josh's, and when I heard Adam Scheffner say that the Cowboys are going to take uh, Johnny Manziel, uh, I was I was pacing the room, screaming like a little kid. I was having a panic attack, and uh, I I was about to boycott the Cowboys if we draft drafted Johnny Manziel. I just want to throw that out there. I was not I was not <laughs> one of those delusional Cowboy fans. Thank God we didn't draft him. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's we got to uh, we got the talent. And we got to resign Dak, and that offensive line, though, like you said, we built, we put a lot of capital on it, and it's paid off, you know. Yeah. Um, and Tyron Smith, uh, who is out for Sunday, uh, that's that's rough. Yep. With the high ankle sprain, that was like the worst thing you want to see on the last drive of the game. But uh, besides that, with Zach Martin, the be- one of the best guards in the game, best centers in the game, uh, we have a great offensive line and great capital, and we've actually got him to pretty good contracts. Lyle Collins. He was supposed to be a first-round pick. We signed him undrafted just because he was interviewed, not even a suspect. He was just interviewed, and because his ex-girlfriend was murdered, and it wasn't even it was not even a suspect. But he went undrafted. He was a first-round talent. We dra- undrafted, signed him, and now we signed him to a long-term deal. Like we got great players on our offensive line, and it's really paid off and helped Dak and helped Zeke in the long run. Yeah. So when it comes to like re-signing him, I mean. What's your take on like? Do, is he does he deserve to be one of the highest paid quarterbacks in football? I, you know what I say. I know this is a very a lot of people say no, right? I hear that all the time. Dak's yeah. not worth it. Dak's not worth it. Yeah, he doesn't put up great numbers. Da, da, da. He's not putting up 40, 50 touchdowns like Patty Mahomes and all these guys. Yeah, no, that's true. But he's still winning games. You know, if Zeke was that 2017 year when Zeke was suspended six games. We're still one game out of the playoffs. If we would have won that game, we would have been in the playoffs, right? Yeah. So we were still right there. You know, it's not like we're far out. Um, so Dak is winning games. He's one of the most winningest quarterbacks in the uh, league right now. He has the most fourth-quarter comebacks since coming into the league in 2016, uh, fourth-quarter comebacks. So it, it's not like he doesn't go out there and win games. Yeah. Now, it, it's, it's hilarious to me, Tom, because, you know, I used to hear this all the time because – when we had Romo, people, I used to be like, dude, he's putting up great numbers. He's top 10 quarterback, he but he doesn't win games, Sean. He sucks. <laughs> well, now we have a guy that doesn't put up numbers, but he wins games. And now they're shitting on his numbers. <laughs> Which one do you want? We can't give you all of it, damn it. You know, <laughs> like, like, I will take a winner over stats any day. He, does, yeah. he doesn't need to put up those big time numbers. And a lot of people forget, when, before Romo came in, we were going through a carousel of quarterbacks. And we were horrible. We had Drew Bledsoe, Vinny Tessarotti, uh, Quincy Carter. It, it was bad, you know, until Romo came in and settled it all down. So going from a Romo to a Dak Prescott, you don't ever hardly see that nowadays, going from a good quarterback to another good quarterback. So I say pay him. I say pay him now before next year when the cap goes up and he asks for more. Yeah. So I, I say $34 million, I'll take it. Well, I mean, like, you know, you, you look at guys like Kirk Cousins <laughs> that – you know, like if that guy could get paid top ten quarterback money, I mean, you know, oh my God. That, at least you know Dak Prescott could throw a medium to long ball and and be somewhat yeah. accurate. So, and, yeah, and like, but you do have some extensions coming up, like right, like Amari Cooper yeah. needs to get re-signed. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, I mean, like, I'll be one of those guys. I was like, wow, they traded a first round pick for him, huh? But like that has that's paid off pretty damn well. And that shows like, you know, change of scenery and things like that. But, yep. you know, Amari Cooper really is kind of, uh, 
kind of been worth it, I would say. You know, even though it's a first round pick, oh, but like you now have you like your clear number one receiver and guys like Gallup who are emerging and guys like Randall Cobb. Uh, sorry, like Randall Cobb who could uh, you know, because <laughs> sorry, I said a little bit of a stroke. Um, yeah. Coming in like and help out in that too. So you know, yeah. I, I think the Cowboys what they are. If I, if I had to like describe them, they're, they're balanced. They're a balanced team. Yeah. Like on offense. Again, they're not going to throw like Dak Prescott's not going to go crazy and throw up flashy numbers usually, but they're going to yeah. be efficient. They're going to move the ball and they're and they're going to score. So, um, yes. yeah, I could totally understand the, the rationale for for paying him.